JIFIX was just the acronym everybody likes to use for the Joint Interagency Field Experimentation Program. So uh, the, the program uh, referred to as JIFIX brings together a really diverse group of people to conduct research. Primarily at this point in time, we, we focus in on aut autonomous systems and uh, communications networking between those systems. Uh, it's an opportunity for people from all sorts of different agencies, private companies, government research labs um, to come out here and participate together to experiment um, alongside each other and integrate with each other while they're out here. So um, opportunities come up while they're experimenting right next to each other. They talk to um, the folks in the tent next to them and then they start making you know, some really exciting experiments that evolve into things that they never expected would happen out here. GIFIX provides an excellent unparalleled opportunity to be able to connect and communicate with other startup-like companies like ourselves. For example, Printed Aerospace is a company that we met here at GIFIX who are currently working on developing their modularized 3D printed drones. In fact, right now, we're 3D printing components that go to their drone systems that they will then test and be able to deploy on their own systems. We hope to be able to continue testing with them not only through GIFIX, but in other uh, environments as well, and potentially provide a combined solution to our warfighter. Essentially, we create an environment that allows them to collaborate um, on a ad hoc basis. Um, GIFIX, what, the, what we've done is we've been able to get to a process where we can help experimenters who propose to run uh, experiments. We give them the space, the time, and the domain to operate um, out here in a safe, secure, and legal manner. So the biggest thing that GIFIX provides that other experimentations do not provide is we see technologies at the very early stages of development. Um, so people are coming out here literally with cardboard wings and very early prototypes of their technologies, which lets government observers see things you know, at the very early stages and also contribute into those prototyping and development stages as well um, to cater and tweak things to be specifically what the Department of Defense or the Department of the Navy really need to see um, to help the warfighter. To experience these things firsthand, we've got students from the Information Sciences curricula, the Information Warfare curricula, and the Systems Engineering curricula have all been over visiting this week and today to learn about these technologies right from the, the engineers and technicians that are developing them. So what we're trying to do is offer this uniquely militarily relevant educational experience that connects the next generation emerging technology to the officers that will be using those in support of military missions in the future. So what this does is it gives me the ability to see the experiments in action and the new technology being produced for the DoD uh, and it, it directly aligns with my thesis work uh, which is maritime domain awareness of dark target threats off the California coastline. Um, and so this gives me a better idea of some of the technology that could be used in my thesis program um, and toward my overall degree program and to benefit both the Navy, uh, Coast Guard and Marine Corps um, to uh, better understand maritime domain awareness. As is the case with a lot of headquarters and military units, we have a ten tendency sometimes to become insular and kind of be stuck in our, in, within our organization. And at some point, especially at a three-star command level, at a headquarters level, it's good for us to get out and engage other services, engage the academia, look at what they're looking at, but also look at, provide kind of the feedback from what we're seeing on our end. Users in one trip to California can see the land systems and the maritime systems that are being developed for future use.